Video 839, inspecting our split texture that looks at the different color channels. We know the bug is in the MIP map creation now. Let's go over the code that we've added since the previous video. Source code is here, ways of getting a hold of me. You are on the fast playlist, so let's get fucking going before we run out of time. In PNG save, we have finished this save function that is going to save an image to the hard disk. So here's our JavaScript specific bullshit right here. We have an anchor tag right here, which is A. Well, this is the name of the anchor tag, which is a just a we're going to create an element on the dom so document dot create element a for an anchor tag and then fill in some bullshit the href and the download url this is just bullshit placeholder for now and we're going to use the upng library here to create a uh, binary file in the png format this needs to be an array of frames this is just how the upng library works so we do need square braces around here and then uh, down here, we're going to create a blob URL that points to the PNG file. Now, we only need one chunk in our blob. A blob is kind of a linked list of portions of a file. This linked list only needs one element. It's going to be all the file contents in one big chunk. And the mine type of our blob is image slash PNG. So now we need to download this blob, right? So to save a file to disk, really what we're doing is downloading um, a file is what we're really doing. So the PNG download URL is going to be window.url.createObjectURL, and we're going to make a URL that points to this PNG blob that has our binary file contents. Then the href of our domain object model element is going to be that uh, PNG URL. So the href of the anchor tag is going to be this, and then we're going to emulate a click on that anchor tag, on that URL tag, and that's going to invoke, that's going to open up a download window, and we're going to save it to disk that way. Then, uh, right after we click this and we initiate the download, we want to do window.url.revoke object URL with that PNG URL. Otherwise, we will get memory leaks. I don't know exactly why we'll get memory leaks, but that's the way it fucking works, so that's the way we're fucking doing it. Okay, then what we did previously, and then our footnotes, and what we did in this video. If you want a longer explanation, you can go here. You are on the Fast Playlist. My name is Kanji Coder. I'm making a game engine from complete scratch and documenting every single line of code. Like, subscribe, and follow.